Happy Friday, everyone. Isn't this a great time to have some wine? It's not alcoholic, don't worry. I mean, that's a pro of living in a studio flat. No one can judge you for things. I mean, unless you post it to the internet. So today I'm gonna give you a few pros and cons of living in a studio flat. I have been in that situation for almost a year now, so I feel very, you know, experienced on the matter. So if you're thinking about moving to a studio flat or you just, you're curious about it in general, you know, it's nice to know things. Then this is the right video for you. These are my own pros and cons. It's things that I have found uh, and things that, you know, affect my lifestyle. So they are not gonna apply to everyone. So the first pro and probably the number one reason people choose to live in studio flats is that it is a bit cheaper than renting, you know, a one bedroom flat. I live in London and as in most big cities, rent prices are absolutely through the roof. I don't like living with flatmates. Now I don't have to get annoyed at anyone. I can only be annoyed at myself if I do something stupid. Don't have to argue about who's gonna buy the next toilet paper, because I'm gonna buy the next toilet paper. Just stirring my chickpeas. Another big pro for me is that living in a studio flat kind of forces you to minimalize your stuff. I've been on the journey of trying to become a minimalist for quite some time now, and being in a smaller space has definitely helped. It also means that there are some things I just have chosen not to have, so I'll be like cooking with friends and they'll be looking for a specific like kitchen tool and they'll be like, why do you not have this? And I'm like, I don't have that many things, okay? I have the basic stuff. <laughs> it also means that when I have people over my four dinner plates don't go very far. So for my Halloween party, for instance, I had to, you know, get the paper plates out. I don't like having things that are gonna be thrown away because they're not very good for the environment. It's one of those like choices you just have to make. I'm like, I know that I would be a lot unhappier having 15 dinner plates than just buying, you know, paper plates that are, like two times a year that I'm gonna have like that many people over. The fourth pro, I don't even know if I've been like giving numbers to these. <laughs> the fourth one is that it's a smaller place to clean. Uh, because you don't have a whole, you know, flat to clean, so it takes less time and you don't have to, you know, spend six hours on your Sunday cleaning your place. It's not that big, you know, you have your kitchen section and your bedroom slash living space and then it's your bathroom. Like, it doesn't take that long. Over to the cons. I need some wine for this. Just kidding. I like making these jokes, but probably not that funny. The first one is probably a pretty common con to have for this and it's that you're making food in your bedroom. So I am super consistent with, you know, like opening the windows or using the fan and stuff if I'm making food because I don't want my space to smell like food for, you know, the next three hours. Luckily, I don't make a lot of super smelly food, but you know, if I'm making like eggs or fish or something, I'm like, mm, this window is staying open. The second con is that it becomes harder to have people sleep over, especially for me that I live in such a big city and people like to come to London, even if it's someone who doesn't come to necessarily visit me, it's nice to be able to you know, just host people and like have people crash and stuff like that. So it's annoying that now, that, like that's not an option really. When you have a studio flat with one bed, no couch, it's no. Good friends that don't mind sharing a bed with me can stay over, partner of course. Other than that, it's just gonna be awkward to have people sleep over. Also like only having one room means that people see everything, like all of your, you know, space, all of your things. You know, usually you would have people over in the living room and then your bedroom would be kind of your private space that, you know, people don't see. Now, nope. This whole space is for everyone. Everyone's gonna come in here. Everyone's gonna see everything. <laughs> this next one is such a, a Norwegian thing. It's probably not gonna bother most people, but for me, it's just awful. I've mentioned this in a few of my videos before, but in Norway, we don't wear shoes indoors. Like you don't walk inside with shoes on. If you came to a Norwegian person's house, like in Norway, and you did that, they would literally look at you like you had three heads. It's considered incredibly rude. It's probably one of the rudest things you could do, honestly. And people do it all the time here. And I always look like this crazy, angry grandma, because I'm like, Shoes! But people are literally stepping into my bedroom with shoes on. Luckily for me though, once people come here enough, they'll learn and they'll just start taking their shoes off. Like my friend, friend Reese, at this point he just takes his shoes off on my doormat, like outside of my flat because he knows. And I just appreciate these things, you know? <laughs> this isn't a big con, I was just looking for a fourth one so I could, you know, have even numbers because I can't have four pros and three cons. That's terrible, you can't do that, no. Ugh. You have to be consistent with your, with your routine. The second you leave mess, it's gonna, you know, feel clogged up or cluttered. For instance, if I don't make my bed, my blanket and my cushions are gonna be laying like on some of my chairs or on the floor or whatever, like, they're gonna be in the way, so th that needs to be done. If I leave any dishes, which, I mean, I don't usually do that because I like to be clean, but 
if I did, like, that would clog up my whole, you know, kitchen space, because I don't have a lot of counter space, right? So if I leave stuff, I can't really do anything else. So you have to be consistent and, you know, tidy up and don't leave things because when you leave things, it's in the way. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked my points. And if you live in a studio flat or you consider like moving to one, just let me know, what's your view on a studio flat? I want to know because I absolutely love mine. It's probably like one of the best decisions I ever did was to move, first of all, move by myself, but second of all, like, just move to a studio flat because I'm saving a lot of money doing that. So I am so happy here. Like, oh, I love this flat. I love living here. I love living by myself. Life is good. So yeah, I hope I can encourage you to make the same choice for yourself. Wow, that was such a weird. Am I drunk? Is there alcohol in here? Just kidding, I don't drink, so I probably have zero tolerance, so I'm pretty sure we would be able to tell if I was actually drunk. But yeah, thanks for watching, and please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I shall see you next Friday. Keep with the good vibes, bye!